Now, fire has destroyed an estimated 300 acres of maize farm belonging to peasant farmers at Nakpaya in the West Mampusi municipality of the northeast region. The fire also consumed several hectares of beans, cowpea and other food crops that were ready for harvesting. While investigations are underway by the National Disaster Management Organization and the fire service to unravel the cause of the fire, the farmers are suspecting a resident of a nearby community who they accused of setting the fire to collect firewood. The victims, while counting their losses, said they could neither feed themselves nor their families and have appealed for immediate assistance from the government. Elias Utanko has the rest of the story. An estimated 90% of all the farmers in the community are said to have been affected, with most of them said to have lost their entire investment. The farmers confirmed the incident to the municipal chief executive, Arimia Osomolaki, who was in the community over the weekend to commiserate with the victims. Mahama Karim is one of the victims. The fire started off of my farm before it spread widely to engulf other farms. The fire swept through the, the area burning large acres of farm crops belonging to more than 23 farmers. Large tons of maize crops and other produce have been destroyed. Women have also lost their farm crops. As we speak, more than 300 hectares of farms have been burnt by the fire. Almost every member of the community has been affected in this disaster. Another victim, Isifu Ibrahim, said most of the residents, including himself, have been left with nothing, lamenting that the incident could worsen their living conditions if they do not get any support from the government. The destruction is unquantifiable. Some have lost over 20 acres, others 50 acres or more. And we have nothing left to sustain us the next farming season. Now we fear hunger will strike because nearly 90% of the community members have lost their farm crops. So we need the government to help us with food items. Aisha Karim cultivated beans on a three-acre farmland that was given to her by her husband following years of a campaign by NGOs for women to have access to farmlands. The fire has destroyed the entire farm, leaving the poor woman in a state of confusion and mourning. All our farm produce have been destroyed by the fire. The entire community is in a state of mourning for the past three days since the incident happened. We lost everything and the government is our last hope. The incident comes less than two weeks after two children were burned to death when a rice farm was set on fire at Nasia in the area. Since the beginning of the Hamatan season two months ago, hardly a day passes without news of a fire outbreak in some part of the region, causing fear and panic among the people. The municipal chief executive and chairman of the municipal security council who paid a working visit to the victims described the incident as a massive disaster. Um, I received the news of Nakpaya with a lot of shocks. Nakpaya is part of the communities that this year fire has destroyed their farms. But their case is worse. It's like almost the entire community farms have been engulfed with fire. And that is so worrying. I'm looking at how best they are going to cope up for the year. The MCE said the assembly has been overwhelmed by the disaster and will need assistance from the top to be able to respond adequately and support the victims. I want to use this opportunity to appeal to government to come to their aid. The people of Nakaya and other communities in the West Mampusi Municipal Assembly who's got their farms burnt. Others, it was the flood that came, and they gave them bad harvest. We need their support. Philanthropists, NGOs, and other agencies should also come to their aid for them to survive for the year.
the MC also observed that the mechanization center, an additional warehouse in the municipality, could help reduce the impact of bushfire, another fire disaster that continued to destroy farm crops, human lives, and other valuable properties each year. We don't have the machinery for harvest. If they were having machinery to harvest on time, I think they wouldn't have been affected by this fire. So a mechanization center in Waliwali will help our farmers. Another issue that is a problem to us is that storage. The government has given us the one district, one factory, which is helping us a lot. But it is not enough for the farmers here. If we can get an extraordinary warehouse in the West Mampusi municipality, where our farmers can uh, uh, store their output at the end of harvest, it will help. Ilyasu Tanko reporting.